In this video we're going to look at calculating expected values and the variance for a discrete random variable. So here I have a table of the probability distribution um, for a random variable x. And I'm going to calculate first of all here the um, expected value of x which we write as e of x. And this is just basically the same as the mean. So what value would we expect to get? What would be the, the mean value we'd expect to get um, from this random variable? So to calculate this, I am going to do the uh, outcome, so the value of the outcome, multiplied by the probability. So I'm going to multiply the two numbers in each column. And I'm going to do that uh, for all of the numbers and sum them together. So I'm going to do that onto the calculator. So 2 multiplied by 16, add 3 multiplied by 2 sixteenths, and so on. And I've got there a value of 5, um, so that is my expected value. And for this particular one, because it's a symmetrical distribution, because it goes um, 16, 2 16, 3 16, 4 16, 3 16, 2 16, 1 16, so by symmetry we could have worked out it was 5 as well. Now the next value I want to find is e of x squared, um, and this is really useful for um, then calculating the variance later on. So this works in a similar way, except I'm going to square each of my values before multiplying by the probability. So if I go back to my calculator here, rather than type it all in again, I should just be able to go back through and just put in a squared uh, at each of my numbers. won't let me because um, I've filled up too much space in my calculator. So I'm going to have to do this again from scratch, um, but because it's not going to fit in, I'm just going to write it in a slightly more efficient way this time. So um, it's going to be as um, 4 over 16. So then I've got um, 18 over 16. And the next one will be uh, 48 over 16 and then it will be 100 over 16 and what I'm doing here is I'm writing them as a single fraction and I'm doing the, the multiplication at the same time so 36 times 3 is going to be 108 over 16 and I've got 7 squared times 2 so it's going to be 90, 98 over 16 and then here, uh, 8 squared, so it's going to be 64 times 1 over 16. And that gives me 55 over 2, which is then uh, going to be 27.5. So then I've got var x. Now, if we consider what we know about var x from before, uh, when we, we've dealt with that, we might be able to work out that this is going to be e of x squared subtract e of x all squared. So this is the square of the means, sorry, the mean of the squares minus the square of the means. So here I've got 27.5 subtract 5 squared, which will give me a variance of 2.5. 